If you haven't been here before, my name is Ashlyn Tori, and if you have, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing a beginner heels tutorial to Ariana Grande's song, Santa Tell Me, and it is the holiday season. I love doing holiday themed classes this time of year. It just puts you in that holiday spirit, and I love Christmas. It's my favorite time of year, so I really like to soak up all of the magical Christmas energy, but whatever you celebrate, I hope this class brings you so much joy. And today our intention is just going to be to feel good in our body. There's not going to be a deep intention behind class today. I just want you to feel good in your body, to feel sexy and confident in your body. And today we're just going to be celebrating our bodies and giving gratitude for the fact that we can dance and move in our bodies. And I'm just so grateful to be sharing space with you today. This class specifically is going to be focusing on classic beginner heels moves that you'll see in a lot of different intermediate and advanced classes. And so really working on those foundations today. It's not really fast, it's not too technical. I want you to focus on the performance and the character and I also want you to focus on those classic heels foundation moves. This is perfect if you've never danced before or if you just wanna brush up on that technique. All right, my loves, if you're ready, go ahead and grab some heels, grab some water, and let's get into it. All right, my loves, if you're ready, let's get into this routine. So we start this routine sitting into our left hip, and my legs are straight. I'm just popping a hip. We're going to go across the chest with the left hand, across the chest with the right hand, and we're going to pull, pull. This is on Santa Tell Me. Yes, we're going to go across across as we do I'm switching the hip switching the hip pull and then I end sitting into my left leg this is a classic heels position I do this a lot in different tutorials on the channel so if you want to learn how to do this specific move you can go watch one of those I'll try to link it um, above for you so I'm sitting into the hip boom my right leg is straight my left leg is bent I'm using my body weight in that booty cheek and then I'm going to go down for hair whip to come up. Yes, my hair's not whipping because it's in a cap and braids, but if your hair is down, it will whip, okay? So we go five, six, seven, Santa, tell me, we pull. If you're really there, boom. So I'm coming up from my hair whip, I'm pulling my left leg into a bevel, which just means my heels are together, my toes are apart, and I have one knee crossed in front of the other. I'm using that same hand, so my left hand, to come into this little like perfume hand position, okay? We talk about this a lot in my classes, but it's like if you're smelling perfume at the mall, you're pressing that hand out. It's really cute. This is not cute. That's like too burlesque. -y. We want it like cash cute, okay? <laughs> so one more time, we go five, six, seven, and Santa, tell me if you're really there, Bell. From here, we have four walks. She says, don't make me fall in love again. So we have four heels walks. Again, I break these walks down in so many different videos here on the channel. But essentially, a heels walk is kind of like a runway walk. I'm picking up my feet and I'm crossing one in front of the other. As I do, I'm settling into that hip. So I'm going hip, 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 hip. And these should feel real fun, real sexy. As we do that, she says, don't make me fall in love. So I'm doing some hand motions. If that's too much for you, if you're a beginner and you just want to focus on the walks, please do that. So we go, we walk, don't make me fall in love again. So I'm starting with my left foot, and as I do, I do that no, no, and then again, heart, heart. Yes, you go no, no, heart, heart, as we walk. One, two, three, four. So we go, don't make me fall in love again. 
From here, we're dropping down into our slow and sexy squat. This is a move, again, that's very, very common in heels classes. It's a way that we transition from standing to floor a lot of times, but for this routine, we're going to come right back up. So I'm going to be taking my left leg out to the side. I'm pushing my hands down my body. I'm doing a little chest roll, and then I'm closing the cookie jar in. So I'm closing that left leg in, and I'm bringing everything back to a bevel. Yes. So let's break that down just a little bit. So we just did, don't make me fall in love again if you. So when I do this, if you watch me from the side, my booty will be touched out. And I have this really nice arch in my spine as I slide down. My hands are really wide, touching my thighs. Boom. I'm going around with the chest in a circle. As I do, I'm kind of lifting the booty up. Boom. I close the cookie jar, and then I press the booty back to come back into that left bevel. Okay, let's try all of that together, and then we'll add on, okay? So we go five, six, seven, and Santa, tell me if you're really there. Bevel, we walk. Don't make me fall in love. Again, we slide it down. If you won't be here, that's that chest roll. This is on next year bevel. Yes. As soon as we come up, she says, Santa, tell me again. We're in this bevel. We're going to step on our left leg and turn. And we're going to kind of sit into that booty and we're going to walk four times again. So we finished. We came up. Boom. We have our bevel. This is on Santa, tell me. You kind of do a little motion with your hand. Tell me, turn. We walk right, left, right, left. You have four walks again, except this time starting with the right foot. So we did, came up, we go bevel. Santa, tell me, click. We walk. I'm just taking my hands up my booty as I walk, okay? I always, always stress in my classes that I want you to feel good. I want you to feel sexy and confident as we're dancing. So sometimes there are moments where I'm not giving you any direction with your hands because I want you to feel into your body. I want you to start to make that mind-body connection. That's what my classes are all about, is getting out of the head, dropping into the body, and being really intentional with how we move, okay? So this is one of those moments. As you're walking to the back, I want you to just kind of like, be in your own skin, okay? So once again, we just did turn, pop, we walk one, two, three, four. From here, we're going to step out to our right. Our right arm goes up, our left arm goes up, and then we just drop the hands to press them onto the thighs as we bring the booty all the way around in a circle. So from the front, I wanna show you what I'm doing. I go side, side, and then I just drop the hands down to press them onto my thighs. And all that will be facing the back. So we just did walk, 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 walk. We did side to side. We bring it down, press the booty all the way around. This is really, really slow. And then to finish, she says, um, Santa, tell me if you are really there because I can't give it all away if you won't be here next year, I think. So we end on next year, boom. We have like this little like sassy moment, which I love. So we go side, side. We press the booty back, back, back. And then we're going to maybe flip our hair. Maybe you just want to do like a hair whip, any way that you want to do it. But I'm tossing my hair over my right shoulder, boom. And then I'm giving a little head nod. Yes, and that's on next year click. Yes, and you want to just serve sass and face. Okay, so let's finish that part again. We'll go back from the sexy squats all the way up until the ending, and then we'll put it together. So we just did slow and sexy squat. We did roll the chest, close, up, and bevel. We step on that left foot. We turn, bop, bop, do a little come hither. We walk, one, two, three, four. We did side to side. And here I'm really just hand up, hand up with intention, with fingers 
with intention, not just like loosey floppiness, but also not like too sharp. It's kind of the middle. We go side hip, side hip. We bring the hands down to press the booty around. And then I'm staying in that left hip as I toss my hair, bump and nod. And then from there, you can just freestyle. You can walk off the stage, like have that sexy walk off. You can do whatever you want to do, but that is the end of the routine. So let's go ahead, walk it back from the top slowly and then try the music. So going from the tippy top now, and as we do this last run through, I want you to think about the character and the energy that you're bringing to this routine. It's very playful. It's very like cutesy. She's saying, Santa, tell me like, don't make me fall in love. If you won't be here next year, like you better bring me a good man. So this is like cheeky and I want you to have fun with it. Be sassy, be sexy and just feel good. Okay. So we go, we're sitting into that left hip. Five, six, seven, Santa, tell me if you're really there. Click, we walk. Don't make me fall in love again if he won't be here. Chest roll up next year. We bevel. Santa, tell me if you're really there. And we go side, side, push it back. He won't be here. Settle. Next year. Click. And then freestyle. Amazing job, my loves. So now we are going to run it with music twice. Please do it as many times as you need to, but I feel like the more that you run it, even if you have to do this tutorial over again, the better you're going to feel. And I feel like so much of dancing for me is the result, the confidence, how I feel in my body. So if you just get this tutorial over with, you just do it one time, you're probably not going to experience those benefits. So really try to either take the tutorial again if you feel like you need to, or run it with music as many times as you need to in order to get all of those like badass benefits, okay? So let's go ahead, run it with music twice. You've got this. Santa, tell me if you're really there. Don't make me fall in love again if you won't be here next year. Santa, tell me if he really cares. Cause I can't give it all away if he won't be here next year. Feeling Christmas all around. And Santa, tell me if you're go ahead and give it a like below and subscribe to the channel that way that you never miss a high vibe heels class and I just want to say how grateful I am for you babes this YouTube community has really been growing in the last few years and I'm so grateful for each and every one of you that watches these videos and if you want more classes like this I have so many tutorials here on YouTube and I also have new courses and new offerings coming out all the time. So just check out the links below to see everything that High Vibe Heels is offering now and into the new year. I love you babes to the moon and back. Do not forget that you are a beautiful, magical being and the world is lucky to have you. Mwah.